Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello there, everyone. I got to see a movie called The Invisible Man. So this is a 2020 film, came out February 28th, directed by Leigh Whannell, starring Elizabeth Moss. I had watched the trailer. I don't think I did a trailer reaction on it. And I was immediately interested. A little bit of sci-fi horror. I'll take it. I'll give it a shot. And I think this is a movie people are going to like. So no spoilers, no major plot reveals. I didn't like it that much, but I could see where people are going to like it. It was smarter than I thought it would be, but then did some stupid things that I couldn't tolerate. However, it's a... I think it's a good way to bring back the concept of the Invisible Man. Now, I think Universal made a big blunder when they tried to bring the Universal Cinematic Monster Universe together. Because they did it real shitty. They should have just hired Marvel to do it. So now they scrapped everything and they're doing these individual movies. This was supposed to be the Johnny Depp movie, I believe. That aside... I'm down for a good horror movie. I'm a big fan of the Universal Monsters. And I, I I had a good time. But there are things in the movie I can't tolerate. You got a great actress. Pretty innovative uh, story. And they put a twist on the uh, classic... Um, idea for the invisible man they show a side of abuse that is um refreshing to see and that it's out there so i give it props and i could see where people are gonna like it it's better than average movie my problem comes in with you have a concept you're gonna use it and you're gonna put a twist on it that's fine but if you're not going to tell us, or me, I guess, anything particular about what is going on with the person, so is it invisibility only? Because that's the impression I got. And what, what I witnessed was kind of ridiculous. So it immediately took me out of the movie. There are things that an invisible person just can't do unless the the byproduct of what makes him invisible gives him that ability, right? So if you were going to take a potion to become an invisible man and it gave you invisibility, but it gave you, I don't know, um, enraged strength and adrenaline rushes or other side effects that would make you be able to do things that a normal human who's just invisible couldn't do. And that's where my problem comes with this movie. There's a little bit of a nitpick here and there with the way the movie's structured. However, I think this is just something that bothered me so much that it ruined my experience a little. So I don't want to judge it and say people shouldn't go see it. I think people are going to like it. I think it's going to have an appeal. I think was done well. These things that bothered me, I mean, maybe if you broadened and did a poll, you might find like-minded people like me that went, okay, as soon as this happened, I was waiting for an explanation, the whole movie. And they kept making it worse, in my opinion, for me. But I don't think a general audience is going to give a shit that much. It's smart. It's a little daring in some areas, like I said, in the subject matter. And it's a refreshing take on it. I'll give it that. It wasn't a horrible experience, but if I'm going to go see The Invisible Man, I want clever, invisible tricks. I want to be fooled and 
have my mind taken to a place where that's feasible. And it just went too far. It, there were scenes that just blew my fucking mind. Like, this cannot be just invisibility. And then kind of how I tricked myself into the movie, like, okay, so maybe there's no exposition or uh, long dialogue. Maybe I missed it. Sure. Okay. I'll watch it when it comes out on, uh, you know, Blu-ray or a good copy. So maybe I missed something. So I'll put that out there right now. I'm usually always fucking stoned and I could miss something. <laughs> However, that little thing just bothered me. I'm, I'm not thinking it's even rational. Like, my advice is to stay away from this movie. No, I think my advice is don't listen to me. I think you're going to like the movie. I think it's uh, pretty good. It just annoyed the fucking shit out of me. I just, I fucking lost, lost my brain to shut off. And I got through it in an enjoyable way, though. It's like watching a good B movie. You know, there's something there that just makes you roll your eyes, but there's enough talent and um, heart that it shows what they were trying to do. Because I respect people's visions. As somebody who would wish that a, a script of mine or a concept would be taken and used in TV or movies. I could see the Lord of getting your story out there and then it coming out and it being fucking horrible. This is not that. This seems pretty good. I just have a just that, just that annoying fucking thing that they keep do they kept doing. I think people are gonna watch it. I think you should watch it. I think um I'm, I'm affected in a way I shouldn't be. Yeah, maybe there are people out there. Maybe I'll after this, because I don't like to go look at reviews and anything before I see the movie. So I'll stay away from it. If I start watching the trailer and I think it's giving away too much, I shut it off. So maybe now, because I didn't even look for reviews after I, before I did this. I just like turning my mic on and fucking blabbering. So I think people should go see Invisible Man. I don't think you'll be pissed at your money. Um... Uh, using your money or watch it eventually. I think it'll be an enjoyable movie. And I look forward to watching it again, actually, to see if I missed something and see if my mood altered anything at the time. So The Invisible Man, good movie. Just uh, pissed me the fuck off. Have a good one, everybody, and take care.